There's a new player in humanoid robotics, this time from the UK. Also, Menti Robotics just unveiled its next-generation AI-powered humanoid and China's engine AI is teasing what looks like a Robocop villain. Artem Sokolov founded the London-based startup aptly called Humanoid in 2024. It's entering the scene as the British government scrambles to catch up in the global AI race. It's a revolution that's coming whether we like it or not. Artificial intelligence may have the potential to transform the world, and the UK intends to be at the forefront of that transformation. Trillions of pounds worth of investment at stake. The battle for the jobs of tomorrow is happening today. The United Kingdom is fast-tracking its plan for change initiatives to accelerate AI development amidst ongoing and intense debate on balancing innovation and safety. Humanoid calls itself the first AI and robotics company in the UK, aiming to create the world's leading, commercially scalable, and safe humanoid robots. That's debatable, as Engineered Arts was founded in Cornwall over 20 years ago. However, the company restructured last year as a US entity as it aims to commercialize its desktop humanoids, especially its world-famous android, a mecha. To be seven. Wait, what? Why would you do that? <laughs> one million possible moves. And you didn't see this one? Of course I saw it. I just didn't expect you to do this. Humanoid's focus is also broader, aiming to address tedious tasks in industrial and household settings, while engineered arts androids are currently not mobile. The startup's website describes the founder as a global investor and entrepreneur who grew his family business to a billion-dollar capitalization. He's also a founder and general partner at Venture Builder SKLVC, which focuses on business-to-consumer startups. Sokolov's LinkedIn profile lists his location as Dubai. Humanoid has a staff of more than 70 employees. The team includes engineers from Agility Robotics, Sanctuary AI, Boston Dynamics, Apple, and Dyson. The founder says he was inspired by his grandparents' repetitive work at the family-owned Russian jewelry company Sokolov. In a blog post, he said he observed that their work was very repetitive and monotonous. His grandparents rarely experienced the world outside their production floor. Humanoid says its mission is to create scalable, safe, and advanced humanoid robots to seamlessly integrate into daily life. The startup just released a hype video teasing its first robot, simply called the Humanoid One. The company describes it as a next-generation labor automation unit for providing highly efficient services across use cases and industries. According to Humanoid, the bipedal robot stands 175 centimeters or 5 feet 9 inches. It weighs 70 kilos or 154 pounds. It walks at a brisk pace of 1.5 meters per second. The startup says its self-developed model-based and learning-based locomotion and whole body control systems enable the humanoid to navigate confined spaces. The robot has a modular design with bipedal and wheeled lower body options displayed on Humanoid's website. Humanoid says the robot runs for four hours before needing a recharge. The startup also plans to offer a range of exchangeable garments that can be tailored to use case. The clothing is meant to protect the robot's hardware and minimize contamination. The startup boasts the robot's payload capacity of 15 kilos or 33 pounds. That's slightly less than the load carried by this Chinese industrial humanoid, the UB Tech Walker S1, while walking on a treadmill. Another Chinese humanoid robot, the Kepler Forerunner K2, can reportedly carry 15 kilograms in each hand. The British humanoid's reported 41 degrees of freedom is relatively advanced compared to modern bipedal robots. Chinese robotics firms tend to emphasize degrees of freedom more than their Western counterparts. Xpeng's Iron Humanoid, for example, boasts 60 degrees of freedom, while Furrier's GR2 has a reported 53. Humanoid says its first robot has strong and fast actuators for high-speed movements. Reactions to the teaser were mixed. Some appreciated the aesthetic and expressed enthusiasm about the future of robotics. 
Others were skeptical because the promo was reliant on computer graphics. And of course, others worried it's coming for their jobs. Israel-based startup Minty Robotics also has a brand new teaser. The robotics firm, launched in 2022, says the third iteration of its flagship humanoid, the Menti Bot, features custom-built actuators with three times more power than its predecessor. The humanoid also has enhanced torso mobility and up to 30 newton meters of pinch force per finger. Standing 175 centimeters, the V3 Menti Bot has a reported payload capacity of 25 kilos and 40 degrees of freedom. The promo also boasts the Menti Bot's fisheye side camera for 360 degree views and hot swappable battery packs. Menti Robotics employs simulation to reality technology by NVIDIA to train its humanoids. A design that appears to be the V3 Menti Bot appeared on stage during NVIDIA founder Jensen Wong's keynote at CES 2025 in Las Vegas. Please go to the table in the kitchen and wait for instructions. The Menti Bot can complete complex tasks from verbal commands to execution. Last year, Menti demonstrated the humanoid's ability to assist the handicapped grocery shopping. And finally, the buzzy Chinese robotics startup engine AI is teasing its latest creation. The Shenzhen-based robotics firm updated its website to promote its upcoming S2, which the startup calls an original IP service robot. The design was briefly showcased in an early and engine AI hype video from 2024. The visual implies it shares components with engine's humanoids, including the hip and shoulder joints. The design features smooth, rounded edges, implying a focus on safety. Chinese text on its arm translates to China Engineering. The aesthetics pair well with Engine's humanoid robots, the SE-1 and its downsized variant, the PM-1. Both AI-powered robots have recently gone viral for their shockingly human-like walking gates. The bipedal locomotion is achieved through an end-to-end -end neural network, reinforcement learning, and NVIDIA digital twin technology. Engine plans to manufacture a thousand of its humanoids by the end of 2025. The new robot's design shares conceptual similarities with the second most popular robot in Robocop. Ed 209. Which is fitting since Engine's other AI-powered humanoid, the PM-1, has been recruited by the Shenzhen Police Department. For more on that, check the related video.